Soon after the launch, South Korean President Moon Jae-in called an emergency meeting of the National Security Council. And with his top advisors, the president said South Korea will not stand by and allow the regime to continue its threats. Our Hwang Ojun has this report. Less than two hours after the launch, President Moon Jae-in convened an emergency meeting of the National Security Council Standing Committee, initially chaired by his top security advisor and the head of the National Security Office, Jung Woo-yong. And just half an hour later, at noon, the meeting was upgraded to an all-member NSC gathering, which Moon himself presided over. During the meeting, President Moon strongly condemned Pyongyang's continuous missile provocations, calling them irresponsible and saying that Seoul will not continue to put up with such provocations. The presidential press secretary confirmed during the afternoon meeting that the president also plans to work closely with the international community on this issue. President Moon told his security and foreign relation officials to closely cooperate with the U.S. and our allies to seek a strong response from the international community, including measures from the U.N. Security Council. Moon also ordered the Defense Ministry and the Joint Chiefs of Staff to be on a state of readiness to respond immediately to any additional provocations. And referring to his departure to Germany on Wednesday for the upcoming G20 summit, the South Korean president asked each of the government agencies to work in unity with the prime minister in order to alleviate any anxiety caused by Pyongyang's continued provocations. A Blue House senior official said that while North Korea's claim that it has been an ICBM will have to be verified, the regime will not escape an even more intense sanctions and pressure. Hwang Wojun, Arirang News.